how to use lamlist lamlist tutorial for beginners hello guys Celia here and in this video i'm going to show you how can we easily use lamlist for our businesses basically lamlist is a sales automation tool that allows businesses to send personalized cold emails to their prospects to scale one of the key features of lamlist is its ability to personalize emails based on a specific criteria such as recipient's name and so on lamlist also includes a number of their features to help businesses optimize their emails campaigns such as a b testing open and click tracking and so on overall lamlist is a powerful tool for businesses looking to automate their sales outreach efforts and improve their effectiveness of their email campaign so basically let's get started here we are on the main site lemlist.com here we can find a lot of information about their product prices and huge base with different courses and knowledges how can we use lemlist so if you're going to click on try it for free we'll have to create an account i already did something like this and here we are on this page customize your lemlist experience to suit your needs better basically we need to answer we are going to use lemlist for sales marketing recruitment consulting or others we can use something from here i'm going to use sales in my case so let's click on continue also let's take one minute to customize your experience if you fall in love with lemlist how many people in your team will use it one two four and also how experienced are you with creating your first campaign and only we can answer like i'm new to lemlist and i need a full product tour to get started or we can answer i have used lemlist in the past starting without any help you can choose any option you need. In my case, I'm going to click on I have used Lamlist. So start using and here we are on our home page on our dashboard where we can find a lot of information. Basically, we can like um, follow a few steps to make it easier to deal with Lamlist. Firstly, we need to verify our email address, connect your sender email, set custom tracking domain, add the GDPR check, create your first campaign and then just try a LinkedIn extension. So basically in the top of the screen, we can find the search bar where we can search pages, uh, users, email, domains, campaign and so on. In the right side, there is like account information and in the left side, the main menu here with a dashboard, main menu with campaigns, reports, templates, unsubscribe option, tasks, also settings with plans and billings and team settings so here we can manage all of our billings and from the main menu we can manage all the campaigns we are going to run so for example if we need to create a new campaign we just simply need to go to uh, campaigns and then just click on create a new campaign so here we are uh, we need to choose a method to import your leads so we can import them from csv email uh, import manually import from existing campaign import from crm import from zapier it's pretty cool that they have like integration with zapier import from linkedin or import from api in my case i'm going to import manually so we can add some emails we want to uh, send our emails to so basically I'm going to copy my email here so let it be like this so let's basically paste it and then just going to click on continue so uh, the second step set up import settings do not import leads already in this campaign import one lead yeah so after that we can just simply go to settings or we can import new leads we can manage custom variables and so on so let's go to uh, settings and from this page here uh, we can name our companies basically it's called Ilias campaign one we can also add it to group uh, we can stop a lead sequence uh, when they reply by email or linked message so here we need to set some settings basically create a new tasks when a lead reply by email or linkedin message and also report settings custom tracking track email opens track link clicks track reply in the email body basically i suggest to turn this function on uh, revenue generated optional so we can find the revenue generated like 
settings. If we'll go to sequence, we can build it from scratch or we can use like uh, different templates. So uh, basically it means that uh, we can easily uh, create the script we are going to use. So for example, we can send the email right up here. Uh, or uh, and after that we can add some other stuff so for example we can send the email we can add a step so for example like call an API uh, wait for two days uh, then just add some more steps and so on and in this case we can create a huge sequence of different like interactions with our client and I think it's pretty cool so uh, here on this page, we need to fill the email, basically senders for emails tab. So let it be like this here, for example. Uh, we can um, our, set up our email, we can write our email content here. We can add like uh, images, uh, different text, links, emotic signature and so on. And also there is like uh, schedules uh, options we can schedule different uh, select a schedule like your local time zone and so on and uh, we can also add a new schedule basically the second schedule here and if you we'll, uh, set up every step we can easily then go to review basically i'm going to delete this one and delete so if you'll go to uh, review we can then find how does our campaign looks like uh, and if you'll discover their paid plans, we can find that they have like three plans, email outreach, sales engagement and outbound agency. So basically it's like $50 per month and $83 per month and we can easily try it for free. We don't even have to insert our card information. So for email outreach, we have like Lean Warm Essential Plan, Personalization at Scale, Automate Follow Up, Invite Teams, Pipedrive, HubSpot, Salesforce Integrations, Plus uh, API SS, Unlimited Workflows and Emails. And also for like uh, sales engagement, it automated LinkedIn outreach, video prospecting, LinkedIn Chrome extension, native enrich integration, custom landing page and native cold call integration. So basically, uh, it's easier for you to try it for free and after that you can decide it's not that cheap. So um, I suggest you to try it by your own and then just uh, find the necessary plan you'd like to use. So this is a way of how can we use a lamb list. Basically, when everything is done, we can just run our campaign and do. So I hope guys this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.